in that record? Yeah. It's a written document attesting to an event, a transaction, agreement, a contract, an act, etc. Yeah. <laughs> that is drawn up under the authority of law. <laughs> Now, a record is permanent evidence that some event, transaction, agreement, contract, act, etc. has taken place legally. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> you know, oftentimes I send you a record, a document <laughs> known as ri.pdf. Yeah. And every one of these acts of uh, court, yeah. They have to be drawn up under the authority of the law. Now, let's say that you issued a protection order where I was not given actual notice and opportunity to be heard. Yeah. Uh, the petitioner didn't appear in court. No. And there's forgeries on it. You issued it for 10 years. Mm-hmm. And you say that you have the authority of law because of an arrest that took place on Guam. Yeah. Where I did seven hours of parenting classes and my record was expunged. Mm. You know, um, this document known as RI.PDF. Yeah. Right eye. Ooh, no acronym changing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that I'm going to sue you. Yes. Now, it's not um, a suggestion. No, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the traffic citation. Yeah. You wrote up a document attesting to an event that took place on December 31st of 2015. Mm -hmm. And you say that you drew that up under the authority of the law. But I wasn't in SWIM. No. Mm -mm. And I would have to say that it did not uh, fit the definition of taking place legally. Yeah. You can never issue a traffic citation unless the individual actually commits a crime. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the two count criminal complaint in Jefferson County. Mm -hmm. You know, when the deputy prosecuting attorney had the approval of the elected oath known as Hawes, yes, um, that two-count criminal complaint was not written uh, under the authority of the law. No. Mm -mm. Uh, the event, yes, known as cyber-stalking and violating the, the restraint provisions of the protection order, yep, yeah. that event never took place. Now, you have a very significant problem today. Mm -hmm. I realize that if no one had ever prayed for me at any time during my life, I would have the anointing that Jesus gave me at the time of me confessing Christ. Yes. Now, I want to do a little experiment today. There's this woman named Marilyn Van Proyne. Mm -hmm. And I think she needs to know whether or not people pray for her. Oh. Now, you don't need to pray for me today. I think she needs prayer. In fact, I had said that you can never have enough prayer. <clears throat> if a billion people prayed for Marilyn Van Proyen, yes. would it in any way affect her human spirit? <clears throat> now, it's just a little experiment that I want to see. Yes, he does! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,